All right, moving on to this story tonight. We do know that Lisa Quinn, the founder of Northwest Arkansas Masquerade, has now died from met uh, metastatic breast cancer. She was uh, just 42 years old. She learned the news at 36 that she had breast cancer and it was terminal. Now, we're told that she used her time that she had left not only advocating for research funding, but along the way she changed the lives of many others. We're living as much as we can every single day. Lisa Quinn, a mother of two, a wife, a daughter, a sister, teacher, and to so many others, a friend and inspiration. Lisa truly has left a huge legacy here um, in Springdale and in Northwest Arkansas. In July 2015, at 36 years old, Lisa was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. My husband and I were sitting outside on our back patio and the kids were asleep and um, I had these three sharp pains in my chest. I felt something and I did. I felt a hard knot up underneath my right breast. She, along with Kelly Davis, also diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, joined together to start the Northwest Arkansas Metzgerade in 2015. The nonprofit benefits the national organization Metaviver to raise money for breast cancer research. People are still dying every day from cancer, all kinds of cancer, not just stage four breast cancer. So we, we knew that we couldn't just sit and do nothing. Over time, Lisa watched friends pass before her. She endured treatment after treatment with no results, yet she pressed on. You know, I have my family. You know, I have to try to stay strong and push through. While there's no cure, the Northwest Arkansas Medscarade worked with Metaviver to raise more than a million dollars for medical trials and research that could lead to better treatment options for patients. Through galas. People need to understand and think about where their money's going whenever they do donate. Metaviver gives 100% to research for stage four breast cancer. The Runway for Research fashion show. Where we all have a bond and like, and like I think anyone else, we've all had cancer or have cancer. And other community events. After her 20th treatment didn't work, Lisa entered hospice care last week. On Sunday, her friends gathered outside her home for a prayer vigil to show love and support for Lisa and for her family. And um, for being one of my absolute best friends. And um, I will never let anyone ever forget about you. And Lisa is survived by her husband, Patrick Quinn, and their two children, Cooper and Karis. Celebration of life expected to be announced at a later date.